Right. So sales revenue was 200 units times by 8, which is making up $1,600. And costs 200 units times by 5, which is making up $1,000. So as we see, difference between the revenue and cost gives us the profit or loss, which in this case is $600. Okay. So that's all we need to do. I mean, I'm showing you here on the screen, okay? So I'm not challenging the, your intelligence. You are very intelligent people. Uh, just showing that what I'm going to do on my calculator. So on calculator, you can do the way you like, actually. All you need to do is pick up the calculator and simply work out the numbers, okay? Right, I will take this to the payoff table here. You can see. In the best case scenario, if I have purchased 200 units and I was lucky that I ended up with the best case scenario, I would have made $600 profit. But what if I buy 200 units and the demand tomorrow doesn't come to be the best? The demand comes out only average. Then what will happen? So I purchased 200 units for tomorrow. And tomorrow I was not that lucky, only average demand occurred. Average demand was 150 units. So all I had to do was that cost will remain the same and the sales revenue will be based upon 150 units. 150 units times by 8. But somebody is telling me here that this is not the only sales revenue. What about the sales revenue for remaining 50 units? Remember what the question says? That any unsold cases of fruit and wedge, they will be sold to a local chutney shop at the rate of $2 per unit. So keep in mind, if any cases are left unsold, they would be sold to a local chutney shop. So here is my calculator or I can use here my other calculator which is a bit more handy. Okay, so here goes. Right, so 150 times by 8 which gives me $1,200. Then 50 times 2 is 100. So my total sales revenue from the normal sales and from those leftover food as well, $1,300. And cost was the same because I purchased 200 units, so my cost will be the same. And in this case, the profit will be only $300. And that's what I'm going to put into the next cell, $300. Okay, what happens if I end up with the worst case scenario? Worst case scenario means I purchased 200 units with the hope, but I ended up in a worst case demand environment. And worst case demand was only 100 units were sold. So all I need to do is I can do calculation here. Normal sales revenue. I sold 100 units at the normal price and then plus sales revenue to the chutney shop 100 units at a very small value of 2. So the sales revenue normally comes to 800 and here is 200 and if we subtract the costs of purchases that remains the same 1000 simply because we have purchased 200 units, so we already spent $1,000. So $1,000 sales revenue, $1,000 cost. In that worst case scenario, we are not going to take any money home, unfortunately. Is that okay? Now, this is my first possible decision. What if I don't choose 200 units to buy? What if I choose 150 units to buy? Second possibility is 
what if I decide 150 units to buy? Okay. And I end up in a best case scenario. Can you tell me if I buy 150 units and tomorrow I end up with the best case demand, which is 200, what would be my profit? Yes, you are very right to say here that it would be 450. I purchased 150 and I sold 150. And the remaining 50 people, even the demand was best, I can't sell them more than 150 because all I had purchased was 150. That's all I had on my plate. So I couldn't sell more than 150. All I could do was just to politely apologize that so you know, you don't need to eat fruit and veg today. Okay. What if I buy 150 and average demand turns up to be 150, then my profit is going to be exactly the same as above. But what if I buy 150 units and I land in a worst case scenario, what will happen? Well, 100 units will be sold at the normal price of 8 and the remaining 50 units will be sold at $2 per case. Okay, so 100 units at 8 is 800, remaining 50 units at 2 will be 100, okay, and minus the cost, we are going to have a profit of $150, okay. Let's have a look at what happens if we decide to buy only 100 units. So can I say, if we buy 100 units, the demand can be 100 in any case. Best case scenario, 200 people will be queuing up. Average case scenario, 150 people will buy. And worst case scenario, still we will have 100 units. So we buy 100 units, we can sell 100 units, the profits are going to be $300. If best case scenario happens, $300 is average outcome occurs, and $300 if the worst case scenario occurs. So many people think this way. Let's go for worst case option and maybe we will we'll be able to make some money. Okay, so this is how we construct the payoff table. Thank you.